Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to finish the install of Clipper onto my printer. The printer I've chosen to use is a um, Sidewinder X1. I installed a, a Big Tree Tech 1.4 Turbo in it uh, quite a while ago. I keep looking over at the printer. Um, and what I've decided to do is just go ahead and convert it over to, pr over to Clipper, at least for right now show you this process. In worst case, I have Marlin saved so I can always go back. So right now, what I'm going to do is start the process. My last video shown above, I named this machine uh, Ender 3. And since I've already decided I'm going to install, install this on my X1, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change the name. So to do that, I'm just going to do sudo raspi-config. And just go here to the system options, host name, and I'm just going to change this to Sidewinder X1. And that way, I just have this right uh, to begin with, and that way it's not confusing. So I'm just going to hit finish, and I'm going to go ahead and reboot, and then I'll come back in a minute. Now I've successfully SSH'd back into uh, my reply. And as you can see, I've also renamed it. So everything's right with my world now. I've gone ahead and navigated over to the Clipper install and update helper. And I'm just going to copy the activation command here. So I've copied that. And then I'm going to go back over to my terminal and paste that command in. Now, for the heck of it, I'm going to make sure all my installs are up to date. So I'm going to hit number two. You can see here, it looks like both Clipper and Raker have updated since the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and update both of those. So let's go ahead and hit number one, enter. That'll take a minute. And that's successfully updated. And then I'm going to go ahead and update Moonraker. And so while that's loading, it should be pretty quick. Usually the updates are, and that's finished updating. And then just to be on the safe side here, I'm going to hit number three for main sale. And all that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and run the system update as well. And that'll take a minute. And I'll come back. Okay, so it's finished doing all the updates. Now what I'm going to do is hit back. And I want to go ahead and go to advanced. So once I'm running, done running all my updates, I'm going to go ahead back. Then I'm going to build my firmware. So I'm going to hit B for back. I'm going to hit four for advanced and then number two to build my firmware. Once I get to the configuration screen, I'm going to need to look up some values. So over on the clicker, clipper documentation page is example configurations. And I can click on this link for the config directory. So when I click that, a GitHub page opens with all these various samples of configurations. And I'll need this actually twice. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm using the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4. It's actually a turbo, and that's important. So the first thing I'm going to do in order to flash is read this top section. So I'm seeing here I need the LPC 1769 board for my turbo. So once I have that information, I'm going to go back over to the configuration tool. So now I'm in the configuration tool. I'm going to go to the architecture and I'm going to make sure I'm on LPC 176 x So I highlight it and hit enter. I'm going to go to the processor model. There's two options, 1768 and 1769. I'm going to highlight 1769 and hit enter. And then the directions over on the clipper um, sample don't have me do any other changes. So I'm just going to hit quit. And right now it's compiling my firmware. So my firmware is now compiling. And once that's complete, I'm going to download the firmware and put it on an SD card. In order to download the uh, in file we just created, the, the Clipper firmware, we're going to need to use, um, I use an FTP program. I use CyberDuck. It's open source. I did go ahead and pay for it. So let me go ahead and show you how to use this. Um, easiest thing to do is just go to Open Connection. And then in this program, I'm going to select SFTP, and that's SSH File Transfer Protocol. 
I'm going to select my server, which is Sidewinder x1.local. And then I'm going to put in my username and password. So that's pi and then for my password. Hit connect. Hit allow because it, it, it's based on the fingerprint. And then what I'm going to do is, so right now I'm looking at the directories, you'll see them on screen that are on my up and then go to out. And in that file, that's the, uh, that's where it's storing the uh, firmware created. So I'm right clicking on this bin file, this clipper.bin. I need to figure out where I'm seeing that. Oh, right here in the middle. So I want to right click on the clipper.bin and then click download. And right now it's downloading it to my desktop. So it's finished. And then you'll notice right here on the right hand side of my screen is the firmware. Last step I need to do is I need to right click on this firmware and rename it. So I'm going to rename it a firmware. So firmware dot bin. And then I'll copy it to my SD card and move it over my machine. And so then we'll move over my machine and proceed from there. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the SD card and then uh, I'll go ahead and reboot the machine. So my printer has rebooted and I believe it has successfully flashed. I'm going to go ahead and test that right now. Now to test if it flashed, I'm going back over to the terminal and I'm going to go ahead and hit number five here to get the MC, MCU ID. And I want to do this via USB. You'll notice it sure looks like this flashed. It's mentioned in Clipper LP, LPC 1769. So now I can go ahead over and configure the machine. Now, while I'm here, I want to go ahead, copy the MCU ID. So I basically, again, just highlight it and then copy it, right click. I'm then ready to configure my printer. But as of this point, the printer is ready to go. And now you need to go through all the configurations. Now, rather than go through the configurations for this printer on screen, I'll do that off screen and then I'll do a, maybe just a short showing the final results. But I'm also gonna put at the top um, links to some of my other videos where I, I go through the whole process of configuring the, the printer and doing the printer.config file from scratch. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I appreciate your time. If you have any criticisms or actionable feedback, I'm always happy for that. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a like or, or feel free to subscribe. Contact me if you have any questions. Again, this is Mike from Mineral3DP. I thank you for your time. Have a good night.